Item number SCP-3976. Index, who killed Agatha Christie? Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. Foundation web crawlers and personnel are to monitor media channels for any sign of an SCP-3976 manifestation. Once detected, containment and security personnel under the guise of UK national law enforcement are to be dispatched to the site of SCP-3976 to secure a perimeter and investigate the manifestation. Description SCP-3976 is the collective term for a series of manifestations of apparent murder scenes of famous mystery writer Agatha Christie. Thus far, every SCP-3976 instance has been located in rural England, and all components of each instance have been limited to a 50-meter radius. Additionally, every instance has appeared between the hours of 2231 and 0836, local time, although no records or witnesses of a manifestation event exist. Note, Christie died of natural causes in 1976. Each SCP-3976 instance consists of the following components. A copy of the corpse of Agatha Christie, designated SCP-3976. In each recorded instance, the corpse shows signs of violent struggle or murder. Note, Christie's corpse was exhumed for comparison and control, and has been confirmed to be a separate object from the manifested corpse. However, DNA analysis has shown that the copies are genetically identical to Christie's real corpse. A number of items in some way related to murder. For instance, a murder weapon such as a gun or knife, or a personal artifact, such as a piece of jewelry or a diary. In no recorded SCP-3976 instance have there been any witnesses to a killing. Notable recorded instances. Instance SCP-3976-1 Date and location March 30, 2001, Studley Corpse was found in the kitchen of an occupied two-story house. State of corpse Corpse had two gunshot wounds, one in the stomach and the other in the chest. Artifacts A revolver from which two shots had been fired laid on the ground next to the body. The corpse had a small piece of paper with the word teeth hastily scrawled in what was later determined to be charcoal. Additional First recorded SCP-3976 instance. As a result, it was investigated as a murder by local police and later Foundation forensic personnel. Instance SCP-3976-5 Date and location, September 22, 2007, Broad Chalk. Corpse was found in the back room of a local grocery. State of corpse. Corpse contained no visible signs of trauma, but forensic analysis determined that it contained high levels of arsenic. Artifacts. A sandwich with a bite taken out of it was found on the ground next to the corpse. In addition, a small golden ring was found in the sandwich. Additional, news of the manifestation reached local media before Foundation intervention, requiring a medium-scale cover-up scheme. Instance, SCP-3976-11. Date and location, March 12, 2011. Outside Templecombe. Corpse was found in an abandoned tool shed. State of corpse. Corpse was found with a chisel driven into its heart. Artifacts. A cell phone was found next to the corpse, with a contact list filled with various dentists. The window closest to the corpse had shattered outwards. Additional. A follow-up investigation into each of the dentists led to no further results. Instance SCP-3976-18. Date and location. January 5, 2018. Site 112. Corpse was found in the office of Dr. Sipai. State of corpse. Corpse was wearing a standard issue foundation lab coat and had identification for one Dr. Christie. Its skull cavity was found to be filled with teeth. Note. 
the ID card was found to have valid level 2 clearance. Artifacts. A trail of muddy footprints, apparently leading into a solid wall, was found adjacent to the body. The lab coat was found to have a toothbrush in one of its pockets. Security camera footage is missing from 0123 to 125 of the day of the event. Additional, in response to this event, all UK-based Foundation sites have been briefed on SCP-3976.